welcome back to our channel, MJ Tesla Life Video Reaction Petition. We're gonna do a first, Dolly Parton. At least I think it's the first. The song is Down in Dover. This was actually a request uh, someone gave me. So let's check it out. Well, I can see you love them old sad songs. Just like I do. I love country music. It's my favorite of all. And now that I've got you down, I ain't going to let you up yet. I'm going to do another song for you that is a song that I wrote when I was about 18 years old. And when I first started recording, they wouldn't let me record this on the radio because they said it was too controversial at the time. It was just a story about a girl having a baby. Not nothing that really unnatural about that, do you think? She thought somebody loved her. He left her in trouble and went away and never came back. But that seemed to be too heavy at the time. And so I only put it out in an album. But it's something I always like to sing. And I do get quite a bit of request for it from the album. So I hope you folks will enjoy it tonight. I call it Down from Dover. secret I've tried concealing. When he left, he promised me that he'd be back by the time it was revealing. The sun behind the cloud just cast a crawling shadow for the fields of clover. Show itself cause waiting's almost ended. But I won't have a name to give it if he doesn't hurry down from Dover. From Dover. Yeah. That's interesting. Um the uh, unfortunately I, go ahead. It's like she's telling the story and I want to catch up. You know, I want to understand what she's saying. Yeah, uh, I was just going to say that, um, unfortunately, this is not the greatest quality, audio quality or video yeah, it's, quality. it's uh, breaking. Yeah, there's a lot of static, unfortunately. But what I under, what I did like is in the beginning, she was explaining to the crowd what the song was about. And she said that um, when she was 18 years old, she wrote the song. And... They, the record company wouldn't re let her release it as a single, but it, they did let it be on the album because it was too controversial because it's about a girl being pregnant, and I guess her being 18, I don't know what the reason was, mm -hmm. but but she said that a lot of people uh, request her to do it, and, and she always liked the song. So, But the story is basically that the girls uh, pregnant. got pregnant, and the guy promised he would come back, and I think, at least as of right now, he hasn't come back yet. Mm -hmm. And apparently, I guess he went to Dover, wherever Dover is, and he just hasn't come back. And it's it was the winter's come, summer's come, now the fall is there, and she, he's still not there, and she hasn't given a name to the baby yet. So, let's see where this ends. I loved him more than anything. I could not refuse him, not when he needed me, and to me. Was the only one I loved, and I just can't believe that he was using me. Was he, using me? he wouldn't make me go through this alone. It can't be so, it can't be over. He wouldn't leave me here like this. I know that he'd be coming down.
Well, what I understood, yes. I had to really concentrate. Like that I said, sucks. the quality's bad. Um, it sounded like the baby died, and that was telling her that the guy, the father of the baby, was not coming back from Dover. It's very sad. And that, that's why I was like, wow, that's sad. Because she mentioned that the baby wasn't moving, and it wasn't crying. It was like still. And then she said that, her, the baby dying was a way of telling her that this guy who basically used her, like he, she said in the song, was not coming back. That sucks. Did you know that she wrote the song, I Will Always Love You? Really? The one that Whitney Houston made. Yeah. Yeah. She originally recorded it, wrote it, and recorded it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so she's the one. Yeah. So she loved writing songs. Oh yeah, she writes all. I I, I assume she writes all her songs, but yeah, she um. Oh. She I remember it. when that's when Whitney's version, you know, became very popular. Because of she that said, song. "Thank you, Whitney." Basically, it made her more rich than she already was rich. Yeah. Because she was the songwriter, so she gets royalties from that. Mm. So. Wow! Really? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So you didn't know I can educate I you. Know. Any case, uh, it's a sad song, and I, I apologize, people, I, that the the quality was not the best. Um, it, it took a bit for me to even Just understand because it. Just maybe the records, I don't know. It's a lot of distortion. Maybe it would have been better if like, we did a lyrical version of it. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy it. Anyways, all right, you guys, take care. Bye bye. <laughs>